Uh, you, joining me right now with his thoughts on tax cuts and health care reform, we have Texas Congressman Brian Babin. Good to have you here, Congressman. Uh, first of you. all, uh, how concerned are you at this point that you're not going to get to the priority of tax cuts if you can't get health care reform through? Uh, that's right. That's exactly the way I feel. Uh, I, we've been talking about uh, repealing and replacing Obamacare for seven and a half years. Uh, you know, we've got to honor that promise. And then from there, we have to get on to the tax cuts. Uh, you know, this is a package that President Trump uh, he campaigned on, he was elected on, we all campaigned on uh, both of these issues. I'm a health care provider myself. Uh, you know, three years ago, this was the, the Obamacare thing was the biggest issue uh, that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, failure is not an option here. Okay. And uh, this is something that the Senate needs to do, uh, has to, I think they, they must pass this thing, give it back to us, we'll iron it out, and then we'll put something on the, on the uh, uh, president's desk that he will sign. And the more cuts, the more uh, repeal of Obamacare, the absolute better. This is what we promised. This is what we need to do. Uh, okay, Congressman. So, so what do you think of those that are in the way of this right now? What do you think of Senator Collins? What do you think of Rand Paul? Do you view them as part of the swamp, as obstructionists right now? You know, I can't say they're part of the swamp. I uh, don't know about uh, Ms. Collins. I know she, she didn't vote for the full repeal last time. Uh, I think every other uh, Republican senator did so, um, including Senator Paul. But I have talked with Senator Paul about this. I understand where he's coming from. He's got a problem with it. He wants, he wants a lot more full repeal, uh, and he wants to, to lower these premiums, which I do as well. Uh, however, when it, when, when it comes to the licking log, as we say down in Texas, uh, I think we're going to have to vote for, a, for something that will uh, do a, a partial repeal and replace. We have no alternative. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is something that we promised, and we absolutely must deliver this. But, but they're uh, not the only two, right? I mean, Mike Lee in Utah, I mean, they, you, you can start adding them up. And, and we've talked to people, Senator Shelby, for example, just on Friday, who said, yeah, I'm voting for the thing, but I don't like it. it, it it's not perfect. It's not really what I want. Do you think perfection at this point, though, is not an option? You, you just need to get something done. Failure is not an option, just what I said. And I think this no, is something that they better though, remember that. Right? Perfection, because people absolutely. Want, they, they want this to be right. And the concern, Congressman, is if it's not right and Americans get upset with this new, I don't know what you're going to call it, Trump care, for lack of a better word, then they're going to hang that on you. And they're going right. to hang that on any lawmaker that pushed it through. So you are going to run a political risk. And so from that standpoint, you can understand why they want it just right and for it to be perfect, but you don't have time. That's exactly right, Trish. Yeah, there's no question at all. Uh, I would like to see no taxes, no mandates, insurance regs gone. Offer the, the American people what they want, freedom and the, and the ability to choose what kind of health care policy they, they want to reestablish the doctor-patient relationship. And tax cuts, uh, I hope my Republican colleagues in the, in the, in the uh, Senate remember that tax cuts create jobs. Less, lower taxes and less government is, is what the Republicans have always stood for. And uh, mm -hmm. retaining taxes, retaining uh, these insurance regs and some of the, the rest of this Obamacare, uh, I think, is going to keep uh, premiums high, keep right. deductions, I mean, deductibles up there, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have to remember that we've got to lower these premiums uh, for the American people and give them what they want, right. freedom. We will see whether or not this vote happens soon. Thank you so much, Congressman. Good to have you, you here, bet. Congressman Davis.